Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master Promise again to buy. Jakob the Long Box. Today, looking at a very special beer. This is another of the anniversary ales that were released uh, by the brewery. This is this year's anniversary. This is the brewery Bois or Boys. <laughs> no, I guess it's Bois. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, what they do is, with their anniversary series is they brew a different one, a, a new version each year. And then they blend it with the old version, versions and then barrel age it. And this is the, yeah, the why, as I said, this year's anniversary ale, 100% aged in bourbon barrels. And they actually also did like a rye whiskey version and crazy stuff like that about the, uh, with this one as well. But this is a regular version. Thanks a bunch to Ryan for sending this one out. Your rule man. Got a lot of people around us we're going to share. We're actually having a ball here right now. Yeah. But we needed to catch this with our camera. And, like, we also had fruit earlier today, so we would, which should be interesting to yeah. see how this compares since this is fresh. And we have a little left, left to compare with. So let's get it opened. So we've got the bois, I guess, port, and everyone else at the table is sitting, sniffing. Bastards. But yeah, yeah nice. It's basically the same color as fruit. It's yeah, that kind of lighter, I think, actually. Ma mahogany, reddish kind of color. A little bit of a off-white head. It was more intense when we poured it. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma. <laughs> it's the same shit, dude. That's just it. It's it feels a little more sp spicy. The roast is maybe old. oak, vanilla, toffee, caramel. A lot more dark fruit. It's almost got like cherry notes compared yeah. to the other one. Um, it's more about a real molasses, beer. brown sugar, sweet, intense malt notes. I yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of like a weird peanutty, oaky note. Peanuts. Yeah, kind of like, you know. I'd say more like hazelnuts or something. Yeah. Like that. I, I, yeah. It smells amazing. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Don't mind if I do. Yeah, but that's pretty damn tasty as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty damn good. Wow. The um, aftertaste just is building like. It, the first thing. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, and then the office is, as you said, kind of like... It's, it's got more heat to it. It's incredible how much the other one is 15 and a half, this is 15, but just the difference... No, I think it, the other one is a year old. Yeah, that's that what I was not about old. to say. Sorry. So the difference in the fact that that one's a year old, how much difference it does just yeah. a year. But it's still really nice. I mean, nice, thick, creamy, mouthfeel, full, sticky, you get the sugary gloss. Yeah. Um, definitely some of the heat, but a lot of burn. It's a kind of like an old ale burntness, kind of like you get yeah. from a lot of old ales. Kind of have that. I love that aftertaste. Yeah. A lot of toffee, caramel, um, almost like a slight hint of chocolate or something like that. Dark fruits, the cherry kind of note. A lot of bourbon as well. A lot of vanilla, a lot of almonds. A lot of sweetness. A lot of sweet sugar, yeah. molasses -y. The other one had a little bit of a maple syrup kind of character. I don't, it is kind of in here as well. I mean, they're similar, but it, it feels like this is just a more hot version. Yeah, and actually the other one felt maybe a little more complex just because maybe because it had a year. Yeah, a year on it. But this so is still amazing. Super I mean, delicious. Super awesome. The brewery are just the kings of making super high ABV beers. I mean, this yeah. is crazy that you can you, you don't like make a beer on fifteen fucking percent and then make it so drinkable. And it's don't, don't taste awesome. awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, I guess you kind of taste it a little, heat, or yeah. definitely get some heat in your throat. But this. Man, this is awesome. And we still have a decent amount of <laughs> good beers. We have like some Serpent Stout. We have some double coffee edition of uh, Mr. Frederick's and Weasel by Brunch and some Blue Pepe from Cantillon and some mm. other yeah, balls yeah. here. So we won't <laughs> talk too much yet. Yeah, more. But uh, when we reviewed Fruit last year, I gave it a 99 because next year might be better. I'm going to go 99 on this as well. Because with a year of improvement, this will probably be even better than the fruit with a year of improvement we just had. Uh, which I would probably have gone 100 on. But yeah. this is still freaking phenomenal stuff. I can't remember why I gave the fruit. But uh, I'm going to give this a 99 as well. I can't really put any thing on this. Awesome but I think goodies. a year on yeah. with this as well will just make it... Perfect. I, th I think the sweetness. But we probably the maple won't get to taste this again. No, I don't <laughs> think so either. But I think the maple syrup and sweetness kind of like will come forward a little more. 
uh, than it is now. And yeah, and just some of the alcohol. Yeah. Uh, they, some great, great notes I picked up as well. But yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Thanks a bunch to Ryan for shipping out a bottle of blah, whatever. Uh, yeah, thanks, dude. Definitely let us know what you think of this one if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. Cheers to everyone at the bottle here. Let's do a huge ass cheers. <laughs> cheers. And we're going to see you guys in a little video.